means welcome to bang for your buck. I was gonna say bang your buck. Welcome to bang your buck. No, you leave your buck alone. You don't do no banging. With your buck? With your buck. You can. Hmm. Bang for your buck. The show where we take two items of more or less the same price point, or at least the same interest, pit them against each other, and see which one has more bang for your buck. But you said pit them. Yeah, pit them. Pit them. Pit. Oh, okay. I thought that wasn't on purpose. I thought you just like, and then went over it. And, you're, and I was like, but words, bang for your buck. <laughs> <laughs> Joining me today, as you couldn't tell, is my sister Sika. What up? Hey. We keep each other company, and I love her. Sometimes. But sometimes we are banging. Wait a damn minute. Not our butt. We're not banging. <laughs> we're not banging our butt. We're, we're banging heads. We were pitted against each other. Is what I wanted to say. Mm. Yeah, we're both very hard-headed. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Today we have two craft kits for paper making. The first one is Crayola's Paper Maker, which was sent to me by one of you grains as a oh. recommendation. Hmm. You grains love it when we do Crayola, so. You mean Crapola? I mean Crapola. Crapola. But I actually have hope on this one, so let's let's keep our expectations higher. Not not no. Oh. Not too high. Okay. We so want... like better than usual. So not here, but like and not here. But like Crayola is usually down here. Yeah. So we're just going here. Yeah. Okay. Because if it's it's good, it's like wow. And okay. if it's bad, it's like I Yeah, I already knew it. I already knew yeah, it. Yeah, that was <laughs> expected. So I spent $35 on this kit, more specifically because it's not available in Canada, so I had to get it from the US. It came with Salty Crafter on an airplane. You could see Salty Crafter is on an airplane and the airplane is just landing here in Canada. And it's just coming out like Right? That's, yeah, that's, that's how she usually walks. That's like exactly this. like a T-Rex. <laughs> <laughs> Next we have Kami no Moto, Moto Kit, which is the same concept, but this kit is from Japan. Japan. And I got this maybe a year and a half ago. Is it still good? It should still I mean it's pulp. Does it expire? Can it dry out funny? No. no. I don't see expiry. Me me neither. Me you, you neither. Me neither. You neither. Me neither. Let us know in the comment section below which one do you have the least hope on. I'm going to say I have equal hope. Crayola. Okay. You're... Is no. Is no? Is no. Is no. 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 Crayola is very rarely yes. For those of you new here, we have beef with Crayola. Yeah. In the trash! In the trash! In the trash! More often than not, some of those craft kits are questionable at best, and they usually have this one extra item that Sika loves, which is... Paintbrush? They have paintbrushes that are random, you're like, what do you need that for? Yeah. <laughs> you know, there's no paint in here, and there's nothing to spread, so... Why? It never says why in the instructions. But you know why, right? Why? Because it's up to us to figure, figure it out. Figure it out. Figure it out. Okay. <laughs> By the way, for those of you new to this oh. channel, Sorry, I didn't know we were there yet. I had to find it. As I was saying, <laughs> for those of you new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. And it's right here. Don't forget to click on all notifications because we publish twice a week. And we do a lot of silly things, here. especially we have sharp pointy things. I'm just going to confiscate it from her. Okay, maybe not, so be careful. Oh. <laughs> and so our first victim. You mean Kit? I mean Kit. Paper Maker by Crayola. Now, this kit looks absolutely adorable, super colorful. It really looks like a fun project. Do you have any input? I don't believe in Crayola. You're saltier than I am. Yeah, but they've broken in my heart oh. so many times. They're breaking in my heart. Oh. 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 And at $35, we get to make 20 sheets. Now, I'm pretty sure in the US, this is probably a lot cheaper than what I had to pay for. And just to give you grains more proof, here in Canada, labels have to be both French and English, but this one is purely in English. Which means they're not even thinking about making it into Canada in that case. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they thought that they could get away with me not getting my hands on it. So they, they're like, let's not post it to Canada because we don't want nerdy to get Touching our it. hands on it. We don't want those beady little hands and that beady little frown to get to it. And the concept is very straightforward. We're going to be mixing, mixing, pour, press and dry. And I have no idea how long the press and dry is going to take, but I'm guessing at least 24 hours. Hmm. That's my guess. What if you make it like super thin? I don't think you have a choice. Oh, okay. Because you have to write on it. Yeah. And when you turn the box around, it's really basically the same items from the front and the back. I absolutely love the idea of paper making, especially the Japanese version where they add inclusions like flowers and grass and leaves and there's beautiful textures. As you can see on the screen, they are beautiful. Have you ever made paper before? I've never made okay. paper. So this is the first so time. So it's going to be new for both of us. Yeah. Ooh, that's going to be fun. 
fun. We've both never made paper before. I don't make very much things, so that's not very hard. <laughs> but enough jibba jabba, time to see what we get inside. Here's what we get inside. We get the entire... Sorry, I was just trying to pick it up, my bad. Are you done making noise? No. Okay. May I continue? Yes. We get the entire <laughs> mechanism in order to make paper, so there's like that swivelly thing and even the tray to catch the water. Are you done making noise? We have a spatula. We also get two wire meshes in order to strain the water and that way it catches the paper. And it squishes it too. Mm -hmm. We get three colors. Blue, yellow, and magenta. I freaking knew it. And you were just looking at me like, you didn't see the color. I'm just, just say primary <laughs> colors. We also get a foam mat. We're not quite sure yet how to use it, but we will get there when we get to the instructions. We get... I flinched. Yeah, I, I know you flinched. I flinched. I thought you were gonna hit me. I know. I stopped right in front of your face just to see your reaction. That's what happens when you have a sister. So, well, yeah. What am I supposed to be nice to you all the time? So we get pulled. <laughs> and this is basically the base of the paper. Basically the base. Basically the base. We also get instructions, mm -hmm. which seem pretty straightforward. For once. Well, no, Crayola's pretty decent at instructions. Mm. They always, we made a song for a reason, because a lot of the times they don't give enough instructions and we just figure out the rest. True. Figure it out. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Figure it out. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Did we forget anything? Oh, we also oh. get a beaker. So in order, a measuring cup to make the doing. To do it, to do the making. To do the making and to do the doing. <laughs> All right, so according to the instructions, we put pulp up to 250, and then we smoosh it down to 50 to 75. <laughs> I'm really involved in this story. I'm just like, okay, okay, okay. So basically we put up to 250, and then we're gonna smoosh it down between 50 and 75, and then we add water up until 250, I think. You know what that means though. We that need water. you can go get water. No, I have back issues. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, let's put the pulp first. I wanna feel it. Mm -hmm. Do you wanna feel the pulp? I can feel it through the bag. You missed. I wasn't aiming for you. Hey! Why did you watch your mouth? Ah! <laughs> okay, so here's the pulp. Does it smell? Why does it smell, smell like anything? I'm, I'm, am I gonna sneeze? Is it dusty? No. It smells like slightly like glue. It smells like blueberries. Blue what? Oh, there's a lot of dust that just came out. It smells like blueberries. It smells like blueberry juice. No, it doesn't. It does. It doesn't smell like blueberry it's juice. It's blueberry juice. <laughs> so here's what the pulp looks like. It definitely does look like Dust. the inside of a pillow, like Sika said earlier. Yeah, I said, no, I don't think they heard that. Oh, no? I, no, I think we were talking just us. Off camera. So yeah, it does look very pulpy. So then you put 250. 250. 250. Until... 250. Okay. And then you smoosh it. Okay, so like this, like this. All right, but mess. I know, it's so powdery, look. And you said, oh my god, there's so much dust everywhere. Look at this, all this powder dust. <laughs> I swear if I get any of this in my contacts, Oh! Alright, just go get water while I do that. Get wah! I was trying to just equalize it. Okay, my bye! <laughs> my felt! Oh, my poor felt. Okay, so I think this is 250-ish. And I go and smush it. Oh, I, I guess I could just put my hand in there. Smush it, smush it. Where's the water? Oh. You just brought a snack? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, you left it. You left it on the counter. Yeah, that's what I saw. I know, hashtag- Zika! Oh, that's a lot of- Not sponsored by the snack that she brought in. Okay, let's continue smushing. That's a lot of smushing. I think we have too much. It's like the force of a dragon. We have water now? I'm still eating. Are you- <laughs> My mouth is dry. <laughs> you, 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 okay, drink a little. No, I'm good. You good? Yeah. Okay. But I hope it's enough water. <laughs> okay, so I think we have too much of the pulp because it said we need between 50 and 75. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna remove Did you some. Did it up? Oh yeah, look, okay. how, look how dense it is. It's almost as dense as Sika. I was about to say it's as dense as you. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna have enough water in here. No, probably not. Go get it! No, we have water get there too. That's my water. I don't care. And so here it is between 50 and 75. So really down the middle, all smushed up. All right, so at this point now, we're supposed to fill the water up until... 250. Is that 250? Yeah. Yeah, 250. So I'm gonna put my finger there. Go ahead, Sika. I don't think I have enough water. Let's try. 250, because it's condensed, so... Ah, so close. <laughs> so close. Can we just take... No. Jackie! No! We're not taking... No, my water! No! <laughs> Look, it's bubbling. We have to do it fast. I need to hydrate. I'll get you more. This is for science. 
I'll go get you more when we're done. Come on. I'm gonna dehydrate. Oh, come on. That's so dramatic. Okay, now we just stir, right? With the spatula? Yeah. Yeah, and then we can put any colorant that we want. Yes. Okay. It feels weird. Yeah, it's not. Hang on. It's I a little clumpy have... at the yeah, bottom. Yeah, they said that it's normal if it stays clumpy. It just needs to be properly mixed. Okay. And that it should stay clumpy technically, which is kind of weird. Okay, like. yeah, there. Makes sense. All right, now we need colorant. And Sika decided that we are making paper in the color of green. Green. How much yellow? Uh, let's say six drops of yellow. One, one drop of green. Two, three. Four, five, six. How much blue? Uh, one. Just one? Yeah, just one. Okay. Now, I think the biggest issue so far of this kit is that they are giving us the colorant, which is absolutely wonderful. But However, they should be giving us a chart for the color. Right, and especially in the Crayola right. Marker Maker. Did you put too much? Nope, the, almost. The Crayola Marker Maker has a little cardstock that tells us what color combinations gives us what color. So it really wouldn't have been that much effort to just insert the exact same card they already make for their other products. Let's... Stir. Do you want to stir? You want to feel it a little bit? It looks like oatmeal. It does look like oatmeal. It feels like oatmeal. Does it? Oh yeah, it does. Gross. You don't like oatmeal? I'm not a huge fan. I only like the cookies and cream one. I like the peaches one. Oh yeah, it's true. I bought that one recently for you. I think we could use more color. I would say more yellow, like six more yellow and maybe one more blue. One, two, three, four, five, six. And any day now though. I'm gonna put coloring in your notes. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. What? There we go. And it's dirty, dirty. There it goes. Now it's looking better. It looks like chunky oatmeal. <laughs> All right, so Sika is standing up, which means salt is getting real. For real, these. She has the pulp Me. already. It's oatmeal. It is oatmeal. Okay, hang on. So let's now make biscuits. <laughs> biscuits. What? How, are biscuits like, sweet? It's just oatmeal, and then you just put it in here, and yeah. then you put it in the thing, and then you can make oatmeal paper, and then it's a biscuit. You can dehydrate. It? Yeah, I see where you're going. <laughs> All right, so here is our mesh, and Sika is going to go ahead and spread. We put the whole thing, right? Yeah, the entire thing. Okay. Put it, and then we're gonna spread it nice and evenly as much as possible. That is, you're doing good work. I try. Doing pretty good. It's gonna be thin paper, right? I don't I think, know. I hope. I don't know. It would be really. I am so excited to make to see paper. What actually... I've never made paper, so seeing the process just makes it that much more exciting. You're doing good. And I like the fact that they gave us the spatula with edges. Sika's covering my face, but. Oh, I'm sorry. My big head's in the way. <laughs> my bad, bro. That's okay. It looks so gross. Can I try? Yeah, I guess. I wanna try. Here. Exchange. Okay. You, you okay? Yeah, I think so. Okay, you, you're getting my pajama pants. I'm sorry. More than any. <laughs> Oh, oh, it just wet paper. Yeah, it is very oatmeal-y. Oh, we need more on this side, like so. Like so. Like so. This is very nice. It's very relaxing. It looks gross to me. Does it? Especially that it's green. Well, you chose the color. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't know it was gonna be that chunky. Are you grossed out by your own choice? Yeah, just a little bit. Oh no. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Before we go on, let's talk about today's sponsor, Cove. For those of you who don't know Cove, it is a Bluetooth split speaker. Yes. In order to demonstrate, I have my trusty assistant, so. Salty Crafter. All right, just come in, Salty Crafter. You'll, you'll be okay. Don't be shy. The Cove Bluetooth split speaker is designed with you in mind. It's made to be portable. So whether you're outdoors having a barbecue, and yes, it's water resistant, or crafting, this is the or even working out and you want that music blasting all around you. Cove is absolutely easy to sync with your Bluetooth and connect. And yes, it does get really loud. Let's hear it. Why did I know Salty Crafter was gonna play that song? When the speakers are combined, they create a 360-like surround sound effect. But when you remove them, they are a perfect left and right stereo sound. It also has a built-in microphone that ranges up to 30 feet. So it's like you're getting two for one. So for those times where you just want music to play around you, as opposed to discreetly, check the link down below because Cove generously is letting grains save up to 67% off, making it one of the most affordable, unique speakers I've seen for the sound quality. And yes, use code NERDY67, and it works site-wide, not just for the Bluetooth speakers. Thank you, Cove, for sponsoring today's video. Okay, I think we're good. Now, they did say if we wanted extra drops of color, we can put it in now. Do you want to do... Like dots in it? Yeah. Do you want to do the edges in just pure blue? Mm, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to put a dollop of blue here. See what that looks like. Oh, oh nice. 
and over here. So it'll be like writing a letter, that kind of design. Cute stationery. Very nice. All right, now we need to put our second mesh right on top. Very nice. And this one. The process is very user friendly thus far. Now, do we do we push it or not? I don't know. I think we have to put the foam on top too, no? We do. I would assume so, yeah, because it's going to help it drain, right? Does it push? It just says put it on top. Okay. Okay. And now the foam. Okay. Now the process is going to ask us to turn this counterclockwise and then the other way around once it reaches its end. Go ahead, Sika. Turn. Does this go on? Is it going? Is it feeding? I don't feel like it is. Do you need help? This is counterclockwise. Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, it is. Am I supposed to push it in at the same time? I don't. Oh, hang on. <laughs> let's find out. All right, like let's it's touching. Try. Okay, but don't push it down though. Okay, go ahead. It's not picking up much. Okay, let me try. Hold on. Oh. Is it working? Oh, it's just taking this with it. Oh no! What's happening? Okay. What's happening? Oh my gosh, why? Watch your fingers, Jackie. That's okay. Keep going. There, we got it. Yeah, it's supposed to be it's supposed to be this tight. Okay. Otherwise we're not pressing much. Oh my god, there's blue ink yeah. spilling right through. You okay? Yes. I just don't want it to go through and then fall on your desk. Oh, look at all this water. We have the water there. And then we have to go backwards. Yeah, now you have to come back. Huh, look at this. It just popped out. Yeah, so we have a little bit of ink here, a little bit of ink spilling there. But so far, pretty good. It's supposed to be super tight. Okay. Voila. Alright, so we're a little confused because the instructions to remove it just basically tell us remove the top part and then put the bottom part on a pen but we're not quite sure how to remove that bottom part are we just pushing it through yeah. the vent totally but then it's it might break so Jackie? i don't know Jackie? Huh? you figure it out figure it out mm, 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 mm. figure it out mm, 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 mm. <laughs> All right, Sika, so it's up to you. Up to me. Up to you. I'm just gonna help you remove the top parts. Huh. What? It just stuck. Is it? Oh, coming off okay, together. so that's interesting. So if I just pick... Bruh. Okay, yeah, so just put that on there and maybe we can find the mesh. You got it. You got it. Nice. It's still very watery. Yeah, but I mean... And then I take off this mesh. Yeah, just take off the mesh. It's coming off the other one though. Hold on a second. Got it? Yeah. I don't got it. <laughs> you got it. Interesting. That's cute. So now at this point, we have two options. We can let it air dry or put it in the oven at 200 Fahrenheit for one hour. And you know what we're going to do? Put it in the oven. In the oven it goes. So while Sika's putting that in the oven, if this machine legitimately does work, it would be absolutely phenomenal because it means that not only can you use the things that they give us, yeah? Your oven never got to 200. It's staying at 175. Oh, that's normal. Convection, whatever you put it at, goes 25. Lower. Oh, Don't ask me, that's just how it works. So I just put it in? Yeah. So should I put it at 225? Yeah, no. Okay. It never reached the temperature. That's fine. <laughs> So as I was saying, if this actually does work, it would be absolutely wonderful because I've seen different techniques where you can make paper using magazines and I think newspaper and sometimes different kinds of grass and foliage and things like that. And we would have our own press machine. I'm really hoping it works. Fingers crossed. The process seems pretty Pretty simple, but I don't know. We're gonna find out together. One hour later. So here we are, an hour and a half later from the oven, and uh, voila. The paper looks absolutely adorable. However, even after an hour and a half in the oven, it is still damp. Still damp. Not too damp, just a little bit. So my guess is that another hour maybe in the oven should make it really dry. And we did say at one point that uh, we had put the oven at convection, but I did change it right away because it wasn't going over the, well, it wasn't going at the 200 mark it was supposed to. So I did put it instead on like regular bake at 200 and it still came out an hour and a half later damp. So it's not an oven issue in case you guys go, but janky. <laughs> I was waiting, I was like, she's gonna do it. So just, I'm just clarifying that because I, I did pop in and be like, Jackie, I didn't that waking, but I, it was me. I was Yeah, me. we had to fix me. We had to fix Sika. It was me, it was a me problem. It was a me problem. <laughs> so essentially we still have the mesh in the back. Let's see how easy it is to remove it. Don't break it. I'm trying. Don't break it. I'm trying. Oh. oh, okay. Oh, Slowly. oof. Uh oh. Hang on, hang on, gentle. It's probably the extra ink that we added. My, my guess is, yeah, it's just where the extra ink is. Oh no! no! Is it because it's wet still? Probably. Okay, so we're gonna shove it back in the oven and uh, let your grains know what we think. <laughs> a little longer than a few minutes later. Here is our Crayola sheet. Now, I did leave it out for a little longer, but this here is the tear from when we tried from the beginning. Let's do a bend test. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Not very paper like it. Oh no. Okay. Writing test. Oh, oh no. Okay. 
Oh, that is so bumpy. So now, even though the process was simple and really fun and relaxing, there were quite a few downfalls. First off, the timing. Hmm. It told us that we can put the paper in for one hour and it would dry, but the answer is no, it took two and a half hours to dry. And also, the paper didn't feel very well, so that's no bueno. The whole point is a paper maker. Yeah, and, and then half the paper was coming off on the, uh, mm -hmm. on the mesh. Which means our next kit is Kami no Moto. This is the Japanese version of what we just made. And paper making kit. Yeah, and from what we can see on the box is that this paper size is definitely much smaller. I'm thinking maybe half the size of what we made. However, they do say on the box itself that this can make approximately between 40 and 50 sheets of the small size. Okay, I was like, what's happening? Okay. Of the small size. So okay. it's about the same thing as the Crayola one in terms of quantity. This one has a binding agent in it? Yeah. Hmm. I don't I don't know what the binding agent is but it's going to be two different methods one is just they give us the pulp and this one the pulp and, and a binding agent yeah so I don't know what the difference I don't know what is. to expect one of the things I also noticed is that we don't get any colorant it does say it only comes in white and I'm guessing maybe the instructions will tell us how to color it if we want to but in order to do that Time to see what we get inside. No, I have my own gimme. Be gentle. I'm gentle. Why do you think I'm not gentle? Because you make me flinch. Well, that means nice there's history. Though. There's no history. <laughs> get inside we get an absolutely adorable straining mechanism thing and it looks like wood but it's actually plastic plastic so that's, that's pretty it looks neat cool. it really looks awesome i really like the design of this are we simping over wood what is, i don't know what that word is i see it everywhere online i'll have to educate her off camera i'm scared mm -mm. okay okay yeah what else do we get um <laughs> um pulp pulp there you go <laughs> that was like what camera so we have the Ten. paper base is it 10? Yeah, I believe we get 10 of these. Yeah, 10. <laughs> and each one of these sheets is supposed to give us between four and five cardboard, not cardboard. Papers. Yeah, like postcard papers. Po yeah. This that size. <laughs> four or five of these. I guess yeah. it depends on the thickness you want. Yeah. And then we have the instructions. Instructions. <laughs> and, uh... Oh, wait, we get binding agent too. Where is it? Oh, here. We get a, a little vial of binding agent. 2.5 grams of binding agent. Hang on. I'm not happy right now. It looks like a lot of instructions. I'm a little afraid. Okay, so <clears throat> here's the list of materials. By the way, we do get English instructions as well, which is a bonus. Because that's really rare when we get Japanese kits. Usually we have to try and translate them. Here's what we get. Mm. Here's what we need. So there's more things you need than you get in the kit, which is usually not a very good sign. Why make a kit if you're going to make me go and get everything else that I need? More than half of what you need, you have to buy yourself. Well, you have the first one. You have cloth. Yeah, t-shirts. I'll use t-shirts. <laughs> it says felt. You have felt. Oh, no. No. What's that? Okay, so we need to make the binding agent sit in a liter of water for half a day. And so 12 hours. And only then can we start the process. We need to use a blender. I guess this is more closely related to an actual paper making process. Although most people nowadays use, what's it called? Magazine. <laughs> Magazine. So next time I know this is magazine. This okay, is guys, magazine. Back grains? magazine. Magazines. So we have a binding agent which needs to sit. Oh my god, these instructions. Hours. Look, all the instructions we have to do. We have to strain it. We have to put weights on it. Again, this is probably closer to the actual process of making it, but by no means a kit that includes what we need. Especially I need bins. Yeah, bins, weights, a blender that you probably won't be allowed to use anymore. No, no, no. I'm sure I can use the blender again. I'm pretty sure. Because we're not putting the agent in there. Yeah, it's true. We're just putting the pulp in there. Yeah. Yeah. Which means, unfortunately, Sika will not be there for the process, but she will be there to see the end results. Is that okay with you? I'm doing all the work. I guess. <laughs> You okay? I guess, I guess I'm not making paper with you. No, we got really excited, but this is quite the long process and we didn't... For those of you who know what the binding agent is, let us know. We are super curious because no idea what that is. Is it glue? Could we have just used glue? Is there a way that we could have just bought it instead of waiting 12 hours for it to set in water? I guess, Once I don't know. the paper is formed, keep it in a frame for a while. Keep it in the frame for a while? To no. allow water drain. So what's for a while? What is the definition of for a while, Jackie? Uh, it could be two minutes. Mm. Once the paper is formed, keep it in 
frame for a while. For a while. Thank you for the timing. Usually but Japanese- But everywhere else, like they're like 10 seconds, half a day, for a while. That's true. Usually Japanese kits make us really happy, but this one is starting to make me very salty because the kit doesn't include what we need to make what's in the kit. And it's not even precise anymore at this point. What is for a while? Is it a second? Is it an hour? Is it 45 minutes? What's for a while? I don't Can you Google what for a while is a definition of? Let's Google for a while. A period of time. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't help us. For some time. Look. Yeah, that doesn't help us. So now that I'm on my own, according to the instructions, more, it's more like a treaty than a set of instructions. I'm going to mix the binding agent into the water, but later on in the instructions, they only say we need a little bit of that agent. They don't really say how much. They don't see if we need 250 mils. Do we need one spoon? They just say a little bit. So I'm only going to make a fraction of it, which is 250 mils, because they don't really say how much we need. I don't like this kit. Now we wait for 12 hours. And this is what it looks like after 12 hours. Pretty snotty. What the heck? It said for 10 seconds and it's still not tearing. Come on! There we go. Feels like a bunch of toilet paper to be honest. Yes, it has been lovingly used. And here's our blended pulp. My, I have to say that my blender had a really hard time going through it because it kept attaching. So this is as good as it gets. It's like smushed up toilet paper. Now it's time for the binding agent, the snooty. They only say a little bit. We don't know how much is a little bit. So let's go ahead and add this much. You. And so now the water is somewhat snooty. <laughs> Gross. Ew. So now the process should be pretty straightforward where we're going to put the thing inside like this, wait for it to drain, go back and forth. So here we go. And back. Basically the bamboo is acting as a strainer so that we can get our paper. So sloshing it back and forth. It might be a little too thick or not. I don't know. I'm just going to keep doing this until we get the thickness of paper that we want. So we're definitely getting somewhere. Just so you have an idea of how slow it actually strains, you can see the goopiness and this is after the fifth turn. And now we get to put it on a piece of felt ever so gently. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know where to put anything. Pop it up, okay, and plop it down, I believe. I think, no, I, I, I don't, give me a second. So according to the instructions, this pressure should work and should be able to roll it right off. Is this too thin? It might be. Let's try, let's put more. Actually, you know what? I wiggled the edge and now I'm just going to slowly peel it back and hope that we did good. <laughs> oh my god. What a process. Slowly, gently. This might be too thin, so I think the next one I'm gonna make is gonna be much thicker. And here it is. Here's the second one. I've dedicated half an hour just to making this slosh here. And it still looks pretty thin. All right, off we go. Putting weights on it to let it dry and then air dry. The next day. And here they are the next day. This is the thinner sheet of paper. This one is the thicker one. In terms of flexibility, it is pretty flexible, but I'm kind of worried if we bend it, it might tear. Okay, no, you don't get any kind of bending. That's pretty good. It has a really pretty texture on it as well. Here's the thicker one, which is very wrinkly and it does not, oh, there's a little bit of a tear over here, but otherwise no cracking. Not bad. And here we are testing with a felt pen. We're just gonna write tests. And even though it is bumpy, it's pretty smooth in basically putting the pen down. A quick look at behind it. Interesting. No bleeding. Very nice. And last but not least, a rip test. Oh, okay. There you go. Very much so like a cloth but a really thick toilet paper too. And so now the question is, which one is more worth it? We did kick and scream a little bit at the Japanese kit for the amount of time and work. It's a lot more work and you don't get as much as what you actually need compared to what you actually need in the kit. But to be <laughs> fair, most of these things that they require us to have are things that are laying around the house. That's true. Except for a blender. That's that's a little extra for them to assume. Yeah, because I didn't have a blender for quite some time. So actually, I still ha I have a blender, but it's only a single serve $8 blender. It's okay. <laughs> Best blender ever. That's okay though. That's okay. It doesn't work very well. Oh no, that's not okay. No. So despite the fact that we had to work more for it, the fact and that longer and longer, a lot longer. Well, I had to work longer on it, yes. so you could just have to see the end yes. results. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> You're here for the end result. Yes, I am here for the end result. Seems a little unfair. No, well, you know, we don't live together, so that's what happens. Next time, get a kit that I can actually do. It's your fault. Which is blaming you for no reason. Now. I know. I don't know why I'm being blamed. 
So it means that the Japanese kit is the one that is bang for your buck. <laughs> if you want to reach Sika, remember you can find her at on Instagram at nerdy sister underscore Sika. And don't forget to add me on Twitch, Twitter, and TikTok. I do stream almost every other day on Twitch. And if you want to watch more experimental videos, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch a craft review, make sure you check down here. Until then, we will see you grains in the next video.